Assalamu alaikum. So the topic for this quick video podcast is get out. Get out. Don't distract me. Assalamu alaikum. So the topic for this quick video and podcast episode is linked gratitude is how we make use of our blessings and how we display our blessings. I'm going to try and look at it from a deeper perspective. And that's obviously we all want more. Dopamine driven. There's this good book I'll link in the description, The Molecule of More. I've been learning about dopamine and its effect and obviously it has a big effect on how we practice the deen as well because those who want to aspire for more if they channel that towards the deen then you'll see the same kind of mindset come out in that regard so the main thing that we need to think about is despite us always wanting more always asking for more always making dua for more how do we use the blessings that we already have right obviously we know that from the quran and from the teachings that if you're grateful you'll be given more you can't even enumerate your blessings right and wa in ta'uddu ni'matullahi la tuhsuha and I've got this from scholars, so it's not just an interpretation I'm making up myself. I'll link it in the description, that's something that I believe in. And obviously now it's in the self-development world everywhere about how listing things that you're grateful for can help you in terms of your happiness and your mood and whatnot. I like to say that everything that we find in self-development, and I've looked into it a lot, I've read over You learn that everything in self-development that they say you should do or is good, you'll find it in the Dean already, right? If you enumerate at least some of your blessings, right? Try to think about how you actually use them. Because the scholars say that showing gratitude is using the blessings in a way which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? So then if we think about the blessings that we've been given, are we using them in that way that's going to be pleasing to Allah, right? I made a post quite a while back and it was called as soon as you're given a blessing don't run to the haram bank with it don't run to the haram bank with your blessing don't run to the haram bank with your blessings and what i mean by that is okay so if you've been given good looks how do you use it if you've been given the gift of speech or eloquence or the ability to put words together or charisma how do you use it do you use your words to put people down use bad language lewd language these kind of jokes that aren't good for anyone or do you use it in a positive way, encourage people to do good or spread good information, spread the deen? Do you use the charisma that you've got to start a movement, to start a project, to start and encourage people to do good? Or do you use it to be Machiavellian and manipulate people and try and get away with things? Do you use your quick wit and intelligence in the service of good? Or do you use it in the service of tricking people, trying to get away with things? being cunning in in a negative way so then if we analyze it from our own perspective if we journal on it this is why i recommend journaling because it helps you self-evaluate you realize quickly that we're very lacking in this regard because we don't use our blessings in the best possible way and yet we're asking for more right so it's something to think about quite deeply and everyone has these blessings whether or not relatively you've been given more wealth whether or not it's any other blessing once you start enumerating them you realize certain things that have been a part of your personality from whenever from when you can remember that they're actually big blessings something like curiosity if you've been given this blessing of curiosity which is probably linked to dopamine and how you get some form of a dopamine hit from acquiring new information then you are at a massive advantage in terms of acquiring new knowledge and that's the kind of takeaway for today and it's that try our best to use our blessings in the most in the best way and not to abuse our blessings right assalamu alaikum